آؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی رسپیکٹڈ برادرز اینڈ سسٹرس ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر ود یو ون حدیث آف پروفیٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وچ اکارڈنگ ٹو شیخ البانی اٹس اے اتھینٹک حدیث ان وچ پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیز دا ڈسٹرکشن آف مائی اما ول بی بیکاز آف ٹو تھنگس بک اینڈ لبن Sahaba asked Prophet ﷺ, what is book and laban? Prophet said, book is Quran. That people will learn Quran and they will do the interpretation of Quran in the wrong way. According to their convenience, according to their ease, according to their desires. So they will do the wrong interpretation. They will give wrong meanings. to the ayahs of Quran and that will misguide them. That will become the reason of their destruction. And the second thing is Laban, that people will move away from the sources of knowledge, the centers of spiritual uplifting, their masajid, their communities, the centers, the resource centers of nurturing their iman. So they will move away from these resources for the worldly gain. Let's analyze this hadith, what Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is saying. And then let's reflect on this hadith and see our situation. Are we also trying to find meanings and giving meanings to the ayahs of Quran to create ease for ourselves? to fulfill our desires, to bypass the commands and the very spirit and rule of the ayahs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And second, are we moving away from the sources of nurturing our iman, sources of inspiration for our spiritual uplifting to out skirts of the town and cities to live in countryside. You know, this hadith reminds me incident happened in the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And really every time I reflect on this incident, it makes me worried and it makes me cry. Sahabi of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam comes to him and he requests to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to make dua for barakah in my animals, in my risk, that the business I do. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, one of the important thing we learned from Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was very much involved in everybody's life. So he knew the strength and weaknesses of everybody around him. That's why Prophet recommended to the Sahabi, do not ask. For more, just be satisfied what you have and contain yourself. But that Sahabi insisted. Prophet Muhammad raised his hands and made dua for him. And of course, Prophet's dua does not get rejected. Allah accepted the dua of the Prophet Muhammad And this Sahabi sees baraka, more animals. Business is growing. This Sahabi, he used to come and pray behind Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu five times a day. Now business is growing. People are not seeing him in Masjid al Nabi that often. The business has grown so much that this Sahabi Rasul Sallallahu has to move to outskirts of Medina, away from Masjid al Nabi, and now. People don't see him in Masjid Nabi for regular prayers. And the time comes for collection of zakat. And Prophet sends his messenger to collect zakat. And look what happened. He says to the messenger of Prophet Muhammad who has come to collect zakat, Do I have to give zakat on this now? He was questioning. He was reluctant. He was showing his reluctance. He was hesitant to give zakat. 
on whatever business he has. News reaches to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he decides not to accept any zakat from this Sahabi Rasul وسلم. And imagine what a bad situation. Prophet is rejecting to accept his zakat and after the departure of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when Hazrat Abu Bakr became the Khalifa, he was trying to give zakat and Abu Bakr رضي الله تعالى عنه rejected accepting his zakat as well. Same thing happens in the time of Hazrat Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه. Can you imagine how unfortunate this man was that he was able to pray five times behind Prophet Sallam and he asked for more and he did not knew that this more will bring not barakah, not mercy, rather wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, that's why I say to many of my brothers and sisters, many times we make dua and Allah out of his mercy, he does not accept our dua. Imagine if we go back and reflect, retrospective, if every dua we ever had asked would have been accepted where we would have been today. This is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we, we ask everything because we don't know the future. We have no knowledge of ghaib. That's why every dua we make, let's have a habit of reading dua of istikhara because we want only those duas accepted in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has khair for us. So the message from this incident and this hadith is my brothers and my sisters, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us in Quran and the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu let's stick to the spirit and rule of ayahs and hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Let's stop giving our own meanings Let's stop infiltrating our desires to give meanings to Quran and Hadith. Let's stop doing interpretation according to our ease and convenience and our desires. And let's stay connected with the resources of spiritual uplift, uplifting. Resources where we can get nurturing of our Iman, where we can uplift our Iman where we can refresh our Iman, we can, where we can stay connected with the people who can remind us of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Nabi Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you and me from any evil thing happens to us in this dunya. We all want success, success to please our Rabbul Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah